Now, over the course of this video, we're going to be showing you how I created the Halo 4 hard light shield. All right, now in the first picture I have uh, have up here, it's a picture of the scatter shot with a really, really poor picture of the outline that I used for the hard light shield to begin with. Essentially, what I did was I took a picture of the screen. Uh, when 343 gets their file share up, it'll be easier for people to be able to use that. I uh, used Photoshop to be able to create the outline and then just blew it up big enough for the appropriate size. Uh, moving on, uh, I then just essentially traced it onto plexiglass. I uh, went over to Lowe's or Home Depot, uh, spent about 20 bucks and got a nice big sheet of plexiglass. Uh, good news is you can uh, put it down right on the floor and trace it right there. You can trace through the plexi so you don't have to actually try to cut the pattern out and uh, do all that kind of stuff. And then I used a regular old uh, paint gun or heat gun to, uh, to then mold it or, or, or give it a bow right in the center. What ended up happening was I took two long tables and uh, just put them at just a, a little bit of an angle and then just kept heating up the center part and I tried to make it a, a wide center part, not just like a straight line down the middle. And then just uh, gent gently pressed and got it to the point where I got a nice curve. Uh, then from there I uh, uh, cut another piece uh, that was a you know, just a regular old, you know, rectangle uh, and screwed it in so that way I would have a, a stronger basis so that way I could uh, do some 550 cord and attach it to my forearm. Otherwise, uh, I couldn't really figure out a good way to be able to hold it on my forearm as well as have it not like cause warp or torque and then have it fracture and crack because uh, regrettably uh, this stuff does crack if you get too crazy with it if it's not too, uh, if it's not warm enough. And then from there, I uh, used airbrush to uh, airbrush the detail lines on the back of the plexiglass. Uh, that didn't take very long at all. And then on the front, I used the, uh, the darker color, which is the whole, what, what I wanted the whole shield to actually have the, the color for. So right now I have myself uh, nine feet worth of uh, you know medical tubing. Uh, you can get it from a medical supply store, or you can get it from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. They actually sell like you know like for fish tanks stuff like that. But uh, but yeah. So all you need to do is just take a sharp exacto knife, fresh blade, and just slice it just down the middle all the way through. So uh, let's see how long it takes for nine feet worth of tubing to get cut. Uh, hey. That might actually give it a better glow then too, because you got surrounded with clear plastic. Uh, I, I tested it. I'm actually thinking it's probably not going to make much of much of a lick of a difference. Oh, oh. and did we measure correctly on the truth? Plus one? Off by like a millimeter. Here, let's see. What does it look like? That's cool. <laughs> sure works really well. That's after you get hit a couple of times. <laughs> uh, EL wire cannot bend more than the diameter of a dime. So for those people who want to get those 90 degree turns, yeah, okay, you might end up breaking the actual wire itself. So be aware. EL wire does have a limitation, it's like coax cable. Coax cable can't bend, and, uh, what, uh, I think greater than 90 degrees? Some of them. So, uh, yeah, so just, uh, yeah, trying to hit really hard, crazy turns. EL wire, slight limitation.
<laughs> All right. Now let's uh, and that is the hard light shield. The dog's not scared of it at all. Dude, you're totally gonna help us get more likes. We're getting more likes because of the puppy dog. Click subscribe. Ah! Ah! Arr! Ah! Ah! <laughs>